Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And today's video is, I'm going to explain how we make our five gallon bucket community feeders. And it's a step-by-step -step process. And we'll show from start to finish. But before the video, I want to make a quick announcement. We started this week. We are opening the store from Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. And Saturdays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. The business has been overwhelmingly good. And we was going to wait till March 1st. But it's, it's done so well that we don't have a choice. We're going to have to go ahead and open it now. So the only days that were not open is Sunday and Monday. So just wanted to make that quick announcement. So here's the video on how you can make your own five gallon bucket community feeder. Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And what we're getting ready to explain is how to make our community feeders. But first, just a little reminder, don't forget, if you need packages, if you need nukes, uh, beekeeping equipment, we have it at barnyardbees.com. And if you got equipment that you need to get built, get it built now because we're at the end of January and you want everything ready. And if you order your bees now, you will get them earlier. So the later you wait, the later you'll get them. So don't forget, we've got uh, uh, packages, nukes, bee equipment, barnyardbees.com. Don't forget. Um, these are our community feeders right here. And these things are great to use any time of the year, but we especially like to use them during dearth when uh, when the dearth is when, when there's no, uh, when the flowers and the trees are not putting out any nectar and hardly any pollen is what they call the dearth. It usually in our area in North Georgia, it's end of July into August and everything's pretty much dead and it's hot and it's dry and the bees are looking for food and there's just none out there. So that's what they refer to as the dearth. Now what we do, we feed, fill these community feeders up and we'll put them about a football field away from our bee yard, drawing all the tension and attraction away and, and it helps uh, prevent robbing. Because if you feed with hive top feeders that time of year, it could be a problem because those bees, no matter when you fill them up, I've heard different people say, well, fill them at night. That doesn't work. They smell that sugar water, and they know when there's sugar water in there because they, they can smell it. So, and, and even right now, we started this year, we're mixing a high concentrate of sugar with water at like two and a half to three to one right now. We're mixing it really, really thick. Uh, so, when you get days when it's warm, and we're also external feeding with pollen, that when these bees come out on warm days and do their cleansing flight, they'll also feed from the their sugar water and from the pollen feeder. But what I want to show is how we make these. Uh, now Jimmy's going to shine his light in behind. If you look, if you, if you flip these over and look, they have little cavities down inside these buckets. It's about an inch down to the bottom. Now, if you drill a hole from the inside down towards the bottom, that will, that will fill up with sugar water just shy of the top without running over. Now, it will run over at the very first, when you first put your lid on, flip it over, until it forms a vacuum. Once it forms a vacuum, it'll seal off and you won't have any more problems with it. So, what we're going to show is how to drill these holes. Now, we tell everybody just to find the smallest drill bit you can get, and that's uh, what size, Jimmy? This is a 764. 764 is what mm -hmm. we got in this drill. Now, first thing we do, we find the bell, and you do not drill in this port. So what you do, go around and put an X in it. We put one there, and we put one there, where the X is. So. That way you won't drill through it, because if you drill through it, you're going to lose your sugar water out that hole right there. It's already a hole for where the bell is. So what we do, we go in. You can see the little squares when he puts the light behind it. 
it, it highlights the, the squares. So what we do, we come from, from, from here. This bucket is up right now, so remember that. So the bottom will be, the bottom of the sugar will be down here, and the top will be here. Now what we do, we one third of the way down, we'll put a mark, one third of the way down. And then when it fills up with sugar, it'll go past that hole just a little bit. So that's why you don't want to drill the hole down low. So you want to drill it up towards what will be the bottom of the cavity. One third of the way down. And what we do, we go around and put a mark on every port all the way around, and there's your X. And then what we do, we'll go in with that drill bit. Jimmy will demonstrate with the drill bit how we drill those. It's very easy. Be careful, do not drill all the way through and come out the other side. You gotta stop at the cavity. Here's one right here that I messed up and drilled all the way through. You can take a hot glue gun and fill that up and it'll seal it off. So what we do is go drill through, push very easy, and as soon as you feel the resistance let up, stop. Because if you keep pushing, you'll go through that next wall, which you do not want to do. So he just gonna go through each one of those. Just like that, all the way around. It's very easy to do. These are easy to make. Just another tip from Barnyard Bees. We're out there trying to help out the new beekeeper, so check out all our videos. We've got a lot of videos coming this year, so don't forget to check us out on our YouTube channel. And so basically after that, what you do, you'll, you'll fill it up with sugar water. We recommend uh, in cold weather months, a two to one. Uh, extreme cold weather months, like dead of winter like now, two and a half to one, or even three to one. Make it very, very thick. Because you, the, what it is, the reason you're doing this is because you do not want uh, as much moisture in the hive so you're trying to eliminate aid it as much as possible so you make it a really really thick high sugar content so now in the springtime and like i've said in the previous videos uh we we watch out for the red maple when the red maple the bees start bringing in pollen from the red maple we'll start feeding sugar water in our hive top feeder unless it's right in the middle of a cold snap now, usually in our area, North Georgia, it's usually at the end of the first week to the second week. It varies every year depending on how mild the winters are. I just checked our red maple tree yesterday, and it's still bud. It's still in the bud, and it's nowhere near being open. So I'm predicting probably around mid-February, maybe even late as the third week of February before that opens up. But when it does and they start bringing in pollen, we'll start feeding in our hive top feeders two to one. And... Usually at that time, because right now we're feeding external uh, sugar water and pollen. Uh, check out our other videos, you'll see our big blue pollen feeders that we got. Uh, we also, if you need any of those, we've got them at barnyardbees.com and also the Ultra Bee that we use inside of the feeders that does excellent and the bees love it. It's the, it's the best pollen you can get. There's nothing better than Ultra Bee. They've done a lot of tests. And experiments on that and they can't find one that's even close to ultra bay so if you need any of that barnyardbees.com we got it um, well that's about it for the feeder so how do you want to tell them about our new grafting we're gonna be doing on our queens oh yeah 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 I almost forgot I almost forgot we got a we got a new a new bee out and there's nobody in the world that I know has this bee has this queen what we did, we took a lightning bug and we crossed it with a honeybee. Mm -hmm. And these queens work night and day. 24-7. Yeah, they fly out at nighttime and pollinate and bring in honey. And it's the best bee you'll ever get. Only at Barnyard Bee. <laughs> <laughs> that is a joke, folks. <laughs> heard that joke and I never tell jokes so I thought I'd tell one maybe some of you like it but that's about it don't forget check out our other videos 
we got a lot of new videos coming out in 2019. Don't forget, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new upcoming videos. Don't forget, hit the, uh, the like button. Subscribe. And thanks for watching. Barnard Beats.